here's another good old hint for you Unity refugees. Uh, so a problem when that a lot of people will talk about with Godot is that you just can't get autocomplete to do anything. Uh, well, first of all, that's clearly false, <laughs> because autocomplete is getting stuff. Um, but second of all, if you're writing your, your GD script code like this, then that is incorrect. So the first thing that I'm going to need you to do is to go to Editor Settings, come down here to Text Editor, and go to Completion, and then this setting called Add Type Hints, turn it on. What this does is this changes what happens when you generate code. That is, when you do like function, enter tree, and all that stuff. So like this is what it is with uh, type hints. And then if I turn that off, this is what it is without them. There's a difference, as you'll see. This one has generated void, and this one hasn't. So when you're using GDScript, you can add type hints. So for functions, they'll look like this. So you create your arrow and then the return type. For variables, if you want to add your type hint, there's a few ways to do it, but it's mostly got to do with this colon and then you add the type. This is the standard way of doing it, but you can remove the type and just use this and the, the script editor will infer the type from whatever value you put here. So if I do that, name2 is actually going to be an integer rather than a string. So that's how you get your autocomplete to work. So great, good luck to you all, and uh, you didn't have to pay two cents for this, so uh, that's all good. <laughs> have a great time.